Hi, welcome everybody. We're back. I'm Holly Howell. And I'm Mike Martin. And we're here to talk a little bit about Spanish wines. Today we have a beautiful wine from the Navarra region of Spain called Otazu. So we're talking about Navarra, which is in the northern part of uh, Spain, and this winery is called Atazu, and this is their Premium Cuvée 2010, and it's a blend of three different grapes. It's Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and some Tempranillo. 50, 30, 20 is the breakdown on the back of the bottle. So it comes in about 14% alcohol, um, definitely one of Holly and, and my favorite wines, I think, from Spain uh, for the money. This runs 10.99, and it's it's for our store, it's white tag, which means it discounts down 10%. Um, accolades, 90 points from wine enthusiasts. And maybe we're a little late to the game, but last year, 2014, it was wine enthusiasts uh, number 32 in their top 100. So um, a great bottle of wine, a great bottle of kind of dark red um, that we both love. <laughs> Spain is an amazing region. I mean, there are so many great wines coming out of Spain now, and I love seeing customers come in and try a new wine, especially at these price points, and really fall in love with the, the flavors of Spain. And, you know, Navarra is a cool region. It's way, way up in the north, uh, sort of near the Pyrenees, where, where the, the border is to France. And they're making some fabulous wines up there. I love that they're using Cabernet and Merlot, kind of the more international varieties. Um, but this is really, uh, for, for the price, quite a mouthful of wine yeah. and very exciting to be able to, to, to find this and be able to bring it in. It, it seems like there are so many great wines from Spain that are selling very quickly in that seven, eight, nine dollar range. And this is just sort of the next level up. These are beautiful wines that um, work so well with food, but you can also just have a glass of. Um, so let's 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 yeah, try this absolutely. wine. Absolutely. Look, the color alone is just beautiful. It's got that a nice kind of a, a really dark. Um, it almost looks like it's going to smell like the dark fruit because mm -hmm. it's got a very opaque dark color. And 2010, so it's got some time in the bottle already. It's um, oh, I should talk about uh, the the way they age. So this is 12 months in French oak. Uh, so it's so well integrated now that, that this wine is actually five years old and I think the the window it, it is is going to be closing in about another year or two. Um, it's drinking perfect right now and the tannins have softened and the fruit in it and the acid have integrated and I think it's a beautiful, beautiful wine. Spain especially, you know, they don't release the wines right away. They they like to keep them and age them in the bottle and release them when they're ready to drink. So you'll find that you know, when you're walking through the Spanish Isles, you'll see, wow, these are older vintages. Are these wines still good? They're fabulous. And yeah. you know, I like that Spain does that. The, this ages for another year in the bottle before they even think about exporting it, right. um, as many of the wines are. So you'll find the vintages tend to be a little bit mm -hmm. uh, behind, but in a, in a, in a good way. Mm -hmm. So. Dark fruits. Um, I love the, yeah. the sort of the spiciness of this. I get blackberry, a little pomegranate. Um, just a little toastiness to it. Yeah. And a touch of mint maybe this, on the this end. This is like woke my mouth up. All yeah. I can think of is I'm getting almost a little coffee note too. Mm -hmm. Like like this would be great for the first first when you wake up in the morning and you take a little sip and get that <laughs> zing of um. Just kidding. Yeah. But um. But it's got a really <laughs> vibrant like it just hits yeah. your taste buds and it's like wow. It's it so, wakes you right up. Yeah, um, really really. But yeah, well. the dark fruit is beautiful. That kind of coffee note. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit of like an herbal note in here too. Yeah. I'm getting um. And a sweet but, sort of. A sweet spice yeah just nice easy like drinking on its own but you can definitely um, feel that it's got the weight you know yeah. it's this is a wine that would stand up to you know fuller bodied foods and richer dishes I think fall is a perfect time for this wine mm -hmm. um, you're looking at like braised stews short ribs um, pork tenderloins roasted you know with roasted vegetables kind of homey flavors right. I think would go really well and with you this. mentioned um, some manchego cheese and yes like yeah that. like some of those nice aged sheep's milk cheeses from from la mancha spain and you know with some some nice fruits around it um some apples uh, i think this would be just a really nice cheese platter wine mm. too but but really surprising i mean the, for the price and the amount of flavor you get yeah. on your palate is just exceptional yeah so this is a this is definitely a wine that both holly and i have been selling for a while and and really like so 
you know, take, while we still have it, take advantage of it. Great, great uh, selection. And uh, uh, go Spain. Yeah, Love go Spain. the Spanish wines. <laughs>